Hello everyone, welcome to today's action pack video. We're going to be talking about gravy. So for those of you that don't know me, my name is Jay. I've been an English teacher for a couple of years now and I created this channel to help you with learning some different phrases, some idioms, and maybe just give you some advice in making your journey of learning English a little bit easier. If you haven't subscribed yet, I encourage you to do so. You can hit the notification button as well, and that will inform you when I upload new videos. Um, I do one every week or so, maybe one or two a week, so it's not too crazy. But I do like to keep you guys informed of new words, new phrases, and new idioms. Today's video is going to be all about gravy. You're thinking, gravy? Isn't that the stuff you pour over top of potatoes or maybe some beef or some meat or something? Absolutely. And it's really yummy. <laughs> As being a Canadian, uh, Thanksgiving time with the turkey or the beef or whatever, we always look forward to gravy. And gravy goes really good on french fries too, by the way, if you haven't tried that. And everybody knows the famous poutine from Canada that is cheese, french fries, and really hot gravy to melt that cheese and make a yummy, yummy, tasty french fry treat. It's really good. So if you haven't tried it, I definitely recommend it. But this video isn't about food so much. This video is about the idiom, the gravy train. We know what gravy means as far as something that we might put on food like a salsa. But what does gravy have to do or what's the connection with other words? When you hear a native speaker use gravy out of context, not to do with food, it usually means something extra or an advantage or something that they did quite easily without using too much effort. You might hear somebody say in a sentence, yeah, it's all gravy from here. So what do they mean by that? It's all gravy from here. What they're saying is the extra that is about to happen is just that, it's extra. So if you were talking about money and they have covered their expenses, then it means that everything else that they make from here on is gravy. It is extra. Now you might hear a native speaker say, I'm riding the gravy train. So what do they mean by that? The gravy train, a train made of gravy? Not necessarily. They use train as a form of transportation, meaning that they are moving forward. Gravy in the way, meaning that it's something that's coming easy to them. So if we were still talking about money, it would mean that they are making a lot of money at a really good advantage where they don't have to do so many things to earn that money. A real life example where I might use it would be, for example, people that may be invested in Bitcoin in the early 2000s. Now, they only paid maybe a dollar or two dollars for a Bitcoin. Now, the price of Bitcoin is in the thousands and thousands of dollars. So you could say they rode the gravy train, which means their initial investment, they didn't have to do anything really. So they made a large amount of money just by maintaining and riding that train up the hill. You may also hear a native speaker use the term gravy, meaning something is easy. So they might say something like, ah, it's all gravy, meaning that whatever they're doing or whatever they did or whatever they will do in the future is easy. It's going to be very simple, right? So imagine I was studying for an exam and my friend said to me, hey, I noticed that you are not really studying for the exam. You've only spent a little bit of time. I might say to him, eh, it's all gravy. 
he would then understand that I mean it's simple for me. It's easy for me. It's not difficult. All right. So that is it for today's video. Short and sweet, but to the point. I'm just going to hop on the gravy train and find my way out of here. All right. See you in the next video. Bye for now.